Morning, Sonia Nagel, Nationwide Real Estate and Relocation. Yesterday we did a piece on a highest and best market talking in regards to the buyer. Today I want to talk a little bit about the seller in the highest and best market. As a listing agent, my job is to get you the highest price for your house. But you need to keep in mind that unless somebody comes in cash and says they're bringing that money and waives the appraisal and the inspection, then that deal could still fall through. One thing listing agents fail to do is get proof of funds. So if the people really don't have the money and they are going to consign it to somebody else, the deal could fall through, especially when it comes to investors. The other thing is when you're on a loan, so say you have a buyer that comes in, they offer you $30,000 over asking price and they are on a conventional FHA, VA loan, whatever the case may be. Those buyers have to have the money to bring that additional money if they're waiving the appraisal. Also, you want to make sure that your listing agent is making sure these people are approved. There's ways to get approved in the system, um, and that's the automated system. But I always make sure that my buyers not only go through the automated system, but go through the actual underwriter of whatever mortgage company they're using. So when I have a listing and somebody calls me, I say, have they been put through the automated system or the actual underwriter? The actual underwriter gets all their documentation, not just put stuff into the system to see if they're pre-approved. What I noticed today is in several of our markets, we've had deals that fell through. I don't know if those deals were highest and best, and because the market's so crazy right now, the buyers get home and they're so desperate to find a house that they waive the appraisal and then they get home and go, oh my God, I don't have $30,000 to bring to the closing table. So you need to make sure, if you're working with a listing agent, that they are getting copies of proof of funds, lender letters, bank statements, um, as far as showing that they have the funds to go ahead and close that deal. Keep in mind, nationwide real estate and relocation, sellers are moving all over right now. Um, so if you need a listing agent, regardless of where it's at in the United States, and you need somebody to relocate your building, commercial, industrial, or residential, Nationwide Real Estate and Relocation is the only single point of contact for real estate and relocation. So we can list your property anywhere in the United States, we can help you find another property anywhere in the United States, and we can move all your belongings, whether it's medical equipment or warehousing or residential, um, your household goods, we can do it whether it's trade show material, whatever you need. Nationwide Real Estate and Relocation is your only single point of contact for real estate and relocation. My name is Sonia Nagel and you can reach me at 720-440-9862. Call me if you're not working with a listing agent and you want to move regardless of where you want to move from and to. We can help you. Again, Sonia Nagel, Nationwide Real Estate and Relocation, 720-440-9862. And if you're a seller and you've already got a listing agent, make sure they're doing their due diligence. And if you don't and you want to sell, call us right away. Thank you and have a fantastic day.